two days ago, I saw a vehicle that had hauled that tanker. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. Okay. You going anywhere tomorrow? No, I've got a, almost a two month break before school starts. Wow. I really like this build. Are we where we meeting Echo Four or? Yeah, I like the. I like this build a lot. Where do you want to meet? I'm an Echo Three to Echo Echo Four now. Okay. So medium pulse laser E or small laser is actually the same cooldown. Yeah, everything that I know about the Phoenix Hawk, I learned from watching uh, streamers. Uh, Magic Pain Gloves, one of the best players in the game, and he loves the Phoenix Hawk too. And man, he's just so good in it. Uh -huh. Okay, so come over here. So this, you All know, right. this secret way. Like, if you want to get up here yeah. on this side. So you use this uh, this leverage to get up. So how do you, you see do? Where I'm yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so how do you do from the other side? See where this ridge is? That prevents you from jumping up there. Ah. So if you try to jump here, yeah, it won't work. That makes sense. So you have to jump where it's smooth. Okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. I, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense now. See, what I love about the Phoenix Hawk is I can sh shoot down at people. Do you lock your And arm? I can control my heat better than any mech, I think, in my opinion. Maybe because I play it more than any other mech. Do, do you lock your... Do you lock your arm? And I can poke from the left side, or I can poke from the right side. Yeah. No. Do, do you lock or unlock your arm? I always run unlocked. All right. I need to do. I need. I need to do that then. Because if my if my arms are locked, then I can't shoot down the UAVs. All right, let me. I'm gonna go to setting and and, and change it. I think it's default for me. Um, my my game is default to uh, lock. Yeah, when I first started, I always ran with my arms locked because I didn't know how to control them. But once I got better, all the good players told me to unlock my arms because it helps the torso twisting. And it does. It makes it quicker. How, how do you set a default where I'm um, unlock all the time? Uh, you go to settings. So if you hit escape okay. and you go to settings. Yep. It's left shift. My my left uh, left shift is unlocked, but I thought you have to set it as a default when you're set up. Well, yeah, right when you go into to the game settings, 
you deselect arm lock. It's right above throttle decay. Okay, I see it, yep. And then you save it? Yep, I see it now. So now my arm is not locked. Okay, look at me. Yeah. I can also do this. Target acquired. Oh. I can't tell if my arm lock or not. If you hit your control button. Yeah. It allows you to move your arms. Oh. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. So, so, so right now it's not locked. Yeah, I don't know why I, I like it locked and I kept it that way. I guess I'm, I'm a creature of habit. You know, whatever the default setting is, I'm stuck with it. You know, and then I don't want to change. And then I don't want to change. Well, that's because we're comfortable with what we're used to. Okay, well, over here. Yeah, I definitely like the two jump chests much better. Fuel at zero percent. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, that's a hot fall. <laughs> that's a hot fall. I missed the whole thing. That's okay. That's how you get good with jump jets. I still practice. A lot of times I'll just go to the uh, at twenty-five percent the testing grounds, and I'll just jump jet. Yeah. Just to practice. How are you? I don't even see. Oh, yeah, I see you. That's because the ECM. So if you spawn over here, you just jump up here. At zero percent. And you want to you want to run on this side because okay. usually the team's on the other side. Yeah. Fuel at twenty five percent. You just run along here. And you can make this jump. Fuel at 25%. Fuel at 0%. Okay, let me try. Let, all right, let me try. You can do it. Fuel at 25%. Fuel well, I have at two jump jets percent. now. I don't think I'll make it with one. Yeah, and you will. It'll make it with one. Everything that we're doing now, it'll do with one. Oh. Well, I like this build a lot better because you have five. You can it, make this jump too. The ER small laser is like ah. a medium pulse laser. Exactly. You at twenty five percent. And you have better heat management by by a fraction, but you have extra jump jet, and you. So it, this is just a much better build overall. I mean, you only lose like a couple of point damage. Firepower wise. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like uh, 2.5 points or 3.5 points. Yeah, some okay. of these guys are Okay, now shoot me. damage went yeah I stopped for a second but do you see how I, I, I just jumped at it a little bit and yeah. I spread my damage yeah so if you can jump, you see on my, my readout yeah yep yep I can see it see how I spread it out around my torso yep just so you jump this when is you one get of the, what they consider an XL yeah you want to wiggle. You jump and you wiggle. Another thing you can do is you shield with your arms. That's what I was doing against Jippy. 
but he knew exactly what I was doing. And as soon as I turned around, boom, he hit me, hit me with the PPC. Okay. So when you're playing with the Phoenix Hawk, when we get out of here, I'll, sh I'll show you, uh, when we go to the mech lab, I'll show you why you want to shield with your arms. Okay. All right. So if I'm, Can let if me I'm practice. shooting you. Okay, shoot me. I'll practice. How much do you do? Fuel at 25%. Fuel at 0%. Excellent job. Critical damage. <laughs> Shut down. At zero percent. You see how you spread your damage? Yeah. Yep. So how much turn, how much key mouse do you need to turn to spread it? You know, like Okay, so I'm look, now I'm looking at now I'm looking at you straight. So how much turn do I need to turn? Like this, like this, or do I need to do like complete turn? Generally, I just do this. Just a little bit. I just do a little wiggle. Okay. If I don't have any damage on my arms, then I'm gonna do. A complete turn and soak up some damage with my arms. But if my arms are damaged, then I'm going to do a little wiggle. Okay. Because what I don't want damaged is my CT. Because generally, that's where we're going to take our damage. Is right there. Yeah. Actually, right there. I'm shooting your arm right now, but it seems to show no damage for some reason. I mean, it's just... Oh, finally it get red. Yeah, your arm is... Not tanky. Yeah, that's critical damage. Phoenix Hog is awesome. It looked like one of those Robotech, you know, Mac. Isn't it awesome? Isn't it a cool mech now that you can see what it can do? Yeah. Then if you really want to be cool when you're going to the, into the mech to do this. Yeah, I don't know how to... I never even jump. So now I gotta learn how... How do you jump and turn? You jump and turn? Fuel at 0%. I guess jumping help. Right oh, if you lose your leg, can you still jump faster? Okay, you see how your leg is damaged? So if I lose my leg... You want to turn your damaged... You want to turn your damaged leg to me. Yes. Why is that? What does that do? So, ideally, your damaged leg to me, and then you want to turn and fight me like that. To shield the, the undamaged... There you go. That way, I can't get to your other leg. See? Because when I shoot this leg, torso, critical it transfers damage. damage. See, watch. Watch your paper doll when I shoot you. Uh huh. See how it, yep. it, it transfers damage to your torso? But yeah. you get less transfer damage. It doesn't, da it doesn't transfer the full damage. So this way I can't get to your leg. So when you're fighting somebody and you're, you lose a leg like that, you want to turn your the leg that you lost to shield your good leg. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense now. That's Phoenix Hawk 101. It sure is. All right, let's go ahead and kill me. Left leg critical damage.
I don't even know how I get all these skill points. It's just crazy. So many. I got so many. Lucky. And back armor is for friendlies. Like that match yesterday. Oh my goodness. Somebody was just plugging away at me in the back. Finally, I said, please stop shooting me in the back. You 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 put any points anywhere else? And uh, do you put points in? Uh, let me look. I've got five in auxiliary for artillery strikes, and then of course I max out the uh, or the sensors. I've got the full uh, ECM, and also take seismic sensor. You don't have operations. I've got fifteen. The left side of operations, fifteen of those. Where do you put the? Or where do you put the ECM? Oh, I see it. I see how you did it. So you got? I got operations and cooldown. All right, let me see. I can get ECM here. Yeah, you want to take both of those ECM nodes for sure. One and two. Wow, they're like they spread out like that. Yeah, it's a bummer. That's a lot of points. Yes, it is. I wonder if it's better to put it not in ECM, but put it in mobility to make it more responsive or jump uh, shot. Nah, I don't have anything in mobility. Or maybe survivability. Got 26 in survivability. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's check it out. Let's let's take a look.